What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pelini here, and welcome to this Monday morning episode of John Starts, episode 65. Let's, let's get things going here, shall we? That's right. Woo, am I fired up today? Patrick Ewing hired as Georgetown, hired as Georgetown's Iotes basketball coach. So he, Patrick Ewing got hired as a basketball coach for Georgetown. That's pretty impressive for Patrick Ewing, and that's pretty good for him. You know what I mean? So good job, Patrick Ewing. You got yourself a coaching job with Georgetown. Now, the next one we have is uh, Tony Romo, man. What's going on with him? Tony Romo plans to retire from football and going into broadcasting. <laughs> well, Tony Romo had such a great career, and you can't blame the guy for what he done. And, um, you know, I loved Tony Romo, and I thought he was a great football player and a great quarterback, but he just had so many injuries. But still, you know what I mean? He was just great and stuff like that. But Tony Romo... I wish you good luck in your broadcasting future, and I hope that you do terrific. Just don't fall off a chair and hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, now this is for all you huge Nickelodeon fans out there. If you all remember this show, Invader Zim returned to Nickelodeon for a 90-minute movie featuring the original voice cast. Awesome! Man, I loved Invader Zim. I thought that show was great. It was a little bit kind of creepy for me when I was little, but still... I think that this this movie's gonna be great. Can't wait to watch it. Wow. Um, and like this video if you're gonna watch it. So if you're gonna watch it, leave a like. Man, Zim Gerd, yeah, man, just everything that brings back memories from Nickelodeon. Man, why can't Nickelodeon just bring back their older shows? I know they have the Splat Channel on Teen Nick, but still, still, just bring back their shows. Okay. Derek Jeter is apparently in talks to buy the Miami Marlins. Whew. That's something big you never see every day. Derek Jeter going to be buying the Miami Marlins and talks to be buying it. Wow. Well, I guess he can invest all his money in that to buy it. Good job for you, Derek Jeter. Marshawn Lynch. I'm only here so I won't get fined. You know I'm here, so I won't get fired. Okay, let's move on. Marshawn Lynch reportedly tells Raiders he plans to come out of retirement and he wants to join the team. So, you know what that means now? The Oakland Raiders are going to be a tough team in football. If he comes out of retirement, the Raiders, you might as well just hang them the Lombardi Trophy because they are going to be a tough damn football team team. Even though they're moving to Las Vegas, Marshawn Lynch, I don't know if you want to play for them now, but then, then again, you can still help Oakland try to win a championship, but still, they're going to be a tough team to beat. Because they got Derek Carr, they got Marshawn Lynch, they got, oh man, they're going to be stacked. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. Chris Lennon, out four to six months following surgery for herniated disc neck. Now, he plays for the Pittsburgh Penguins, and that's not good to have to start your playoffs for the week, and uh, no hockey season playoff is starting. Sad that my Red Wings are not in it after 25 years, but, you know, the Red Wings just had a bunch of injuries, and that's why they didn't make it. But still, <sighs> that guy has herniated disc and had to get surgery, so it's going to be uh, four to six months. He's going to miss a couple of minutes on the ice, so... Good luck to him. Robert Kraft presented Tom Brady with his stolen Super Bowl jersey. And this was during the Boston Red Sox home opener. So, hallelujah, Tom Brady. You you praise the Lord. You got your Super Bowl jersey back. Hallelujah. David Moyes could face football, uh, football associates punishment for telereporter she... Might get a slap. And I hope he does. Because you don't tell a reporter woman that, man. Because that is just wrong, what you say right there. And you know what? Ridiculous. Because you know what? That's just wrong. You never hit a woman. You never be a coward. Because you know what? Uh, we are gentlemen. And we should never hit a woman or 
even if we're angry, go punch a pal. I mean, this, you don't never say you're going to slap a woman or a reporter like that, Damon Moist, because you are just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And I don't care if you're a football player star at all, but you are just ridiculous right there. So let's move on to the next one before my anger starts getting out of here. I'm trying to brighten everybody's money up with John's thoughts. So let's move everything down there. LeBron James apparently apologized to Tristan Thomas after overtime outburst. Okay, so that's good for you, LeBron James. You apologized to Tristan Thomas. Good for you. Melina Trump, first artificial White House portrait was revealed. And by the way, that portrait looked gorgeous, and I thought that that portrait was phenomenal looking. Because you know what? I looked at that portrait, and I thought that it was a great portrait of her. So, let's go on to the next one. North Carolina beats Gonzaga 71 to 65 for the NCAA National Championship and that game was just awesome. Sorry Gonzaga, but North Carolina beat you. So, congratulations to North Carolina on your national championship win. Apparently, uh the NHL will not participate in the 2018 Pentagon Olympic Games, so they will not be participating in Olympic Games in 2018. Oh well. Now for the next two we have here is uh, Tim Tebow hits first home run and minor league got backed. Good for you, Tim Tebow. You deserve that, man. This guy is just phenomenal, and I'm going to Tebow it down like that, man, because Tim Tebow, that's just awesome that you've done that, and I'm happy for you. So, way to go, Tebow. You deserve that home run. Russell Westbrook secures triple-double average, falls short of a record. So, he secures the triple-double average, but falls short of records. So... That's apparently what happens to records like that. So, um, I guess that's what happens. So, uh, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comment down below and subscribe for more. You're all the best of John Squad. You're all one of a kind. Thank you for joining me here on John's Thoughts, episode 65. Stay tuned next week for episode 66. Man, these videos just keep on pumping here on Monday, man. Just... Just feeling the vibes here on Monday. Peace out, the John Squad. Ready for me to do it? That's right. Love each and every one of you all.